All right, welcome to the small village of Kund here in Transylvania, Romania. And when I say small village, this is truly a tiny village. This map is literally the whole village. Mm -hmm. It's one road and one intersection. That's everything. From the sky, we can see the whole village in one shot. Now, despite this tiny, tiny village being so small, there's actually a fine dining, um, luxury, five star, let's be clear, six star accommodation <laughs> down at the end of the road here. So first things first, our room. I love the keyless entry. No more keys, it's a 21st century big room, lots of seating. The bed mm -hmm. looks very inviting. Who does not want to sleep there? Mm -hmm. And really love the desk right by the window. We actually came for a relaxing sort of retreat, but we got quite productive and quite a bit of work done sitting right. by the window, watching the clouds go by. It's autumn now, watching the village life unfold in front of you as you're working away. Absolutely loved it. Now I will say there's horses all around this village. Mm -hmm. Some wild and some more work horses, farm horses. And yesterday we went to lunch in what I think was the greatest transportation I've ever taken mm -hmm. in my life. <laughs> Bed. Talk about riding in style. <laughs> Very cool. Fit for wow. a king and fit for a queen. What do we have here, guys? Get ready for a romantic brunch, Steve. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Beautiful spread. Some sparkling wine. Couple of wine glasses. In a cabin, Ivana. Wow. Wow, even a candle-lit chandelier. What could be better than this? Let's eat. Wow. Woohoo! Yeah. That is the sound of a good start to the day. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Come on. What could be better than this? I will say our Romanian adventure keeps getting better. Oh, yeah. Better. I'm sure one of the highlights of this meal will be this cheese with uh, homemade truffle infusion. Whoa. So locally sourced truffle mushrooms. I believe they're the most expensive mushroom mushrooms. Mushrooms, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're local and they're fresh and they're in season and this is amazing. Wow. Five stars, six stars. One of the most memorable experiences <laughs> of our whole amazing. three years of traveling. All right, pour a glass Just for yourself and incredible. let's cheers. What are we cheering for today, Steve? Uh, we are cheering to, oh gosh, I feel nervous. <laughs> we are cheering to um, unexpected adventures. 
in beautiful places. All right, Norok. Norok. Mm. Ah. Very nice. <laughs> okay, let's enjoy. Let's eat, Ivana. From my heart to yours. Mm, very let's nice. Eat. Now, to be clear, that cabin that we had our lunch in is actually an animal observatory. So there's fruit trees all around and deer and other animals come nibble. We didn't notice any animals because I think we were too busy gazing into each other's <laughs> eyes and listening to the music of our heartbeats. <laughs> so no animals, except for maybe me eating like a pig. Because the food here is really unbelievable, guys. Mm -hmm. It's almost hard to describe. It's not only some of the best food we had in Romania, but probably some of the best food we've ever had. Oh, yeah. Truly fine dining. I don't know where to start, what dish to describe. We did have one um, dish that was lentil soup. Mm -hmm. As part of our seven course meal, no exaggeration, mm -hmm. seven course meal. Um, the lentil soup was very special because everyone has had lentil soup before. Right. Like a thousand times. And somehow, with the same ingredients that we're all using, their lentil soup is like head and shoulders, <laughs> ten times more delicious. The best lentil soup you could ever have. That's right. Also had something called beef tartare and bone marrow, which is something I never had before. Mm -hmm. was absolutely incredible. We had some wild boar stew. And it, and it was just top to bottom, breakfast, lunch, dinner, any course. They pair it with wine. Amazing food. Amazing. Quite literally six star food. It's so funny that the chef just has a better understanding of how food goes together. And the flavors that come out of the dish, like, don't even make sense. <laughs> it's like, what if I've been eating my whole life? Very I should just creative. be eating fine dining every day. It's yeah, so, be so incredibly... Yeah, all those dishes. They were five stars. Six stars. So <laughs> incredibly... <laughs> Delicious yes. and the amazing part is we haven't even got to what might be the best part of this accommodation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really the best part um, Last night. I Mean just check this out guys speechless. Just check this out. Please watch What do we have here? Oh, something very interesting I do smell wood burning so I believe this is a hot tub uh, with a actual fire powering it with the view all around and I imagine something is set up here maybe a bottle of I knew it some wine over here ice cold with water which is good because I think we're gonna sweat in that hot tub a sauna oh my gosh oh yeah with a bunch of scented Oh yeah, it's hot in there. Oh my yeah. gosh, I think the camera might be fogged up. <laughs> wow. wow, we are living like kings today, Ivana. This is special. First things first, I'm getting my bathing suit on and I'm going in that fire-powered hot tub. Hot Let's go. Amazing. <laughs> You're gonna love it. It's just Ooh. perfect. Oh, it's just perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, some sheep over there. This has been absolutely divine, this hot tub. But it's time to go to the sauna. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> Let's go. by about three minutes. Look at the sweat. I feel refreshed. Get the soothing, healing sweat. <laughs> what an experience. One of the greatest things we've ever done. A glass of rosé as the sun is setting in a hot tub pow powered by campfire. It's really, really incredible. Um, what we love about Valle Verde is it is certainly a luxury accommodation, mm -hmm. like incredible luxury, but it's sort of a rustic luxury. That's right. So everything made out of wood, sort of cottage, and really fits with this tiny village. Right. If you look around the village, it's a farming village, lots of brightly colored buildings with really old roofs. It's a pretty photogenic and unique spot. You wouldn't want a modern luxury stainless steel and glass right. accommodation. It needs to be sort of farmhouse type local accommodation really really loving 
Valle Verde. Now, our idea now is to just wander through this village. It won't take long. You've seen it's really one road, but tons <laughs> of friendly locals here and animals. Maybe we can meet some dogs and horses and farmers and really excited to wander through right. um, this tiny little village of Kund. All right. So with that, go. we can pick a direction. I mean, we can walk the whole town in three minutes. So maybe we'll go back and forth a few times. Sure. It's really, really small, but it feels like it feels like home, you know? Right, right. Easy to fall in love with this place. That's true. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And there you have it guys, that was in fact the entire village. Mm -hmm. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Uh, just, just farmland from here on out. Right, look at this. I will say the village looks pretty wealthy for a tiny little village. There are some buildings like this which seem to be abandoned. But most of the buildings we saw were like really renovated and brand new and kind of great looking. Yeah. And kind of all, pleasant to see. They're also colorful, all of it. Yes. And I really love, a lot of them have the year on the front of the building. Mm -hmm. So it seems like this one was built in 1927 and we saw some 1930s. Uh, really, really great. I will say not a lot of locals because I think everybody is in the back of their house farming. Yes. They're at true. work. It's very quiet. So it's super quiet, but it's super clean and looks quite beautiful yeah maybe we'll walk all the way back through one more time we'll do a second <laughs> lap because um right right so small but really nice i gotta ask something mm. if you can choose the color of your house which color would you ah have? good question uh so i love the roof is supposed to be orange but turns black because it gets old mm -hmm. i would paint the building orange i saw one back there was like a yellow with orange around the windows mm -hmm. with a kind of faded orange roof i would orange. go orange how about oh. you how about you you know what uh, I was going to do Voronet Blue. Voronet Blue. Oh, Voronet Blue. Blue. Good choice, yeah. Uh, but I saw the red house. This was and amazing. And it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think red. And it's fresh paint. It's like really vivid and yeah. really, really nice. Okay. okay. So red and orange. We'll do half, half. Red and orange. <laughs> anyway, let's do a second lap. All right, let's go. Deutsch, no, Inglesa. 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 Hello. 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 Your farm, your house. Yes, nice. very nice. What's your name? Stefan. 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 Stephen. Stephen. Same, same. Stephen. Ivana. <laughs> Ivana. <laughs> this is your cheese shop. Ah, we okay. Look. Very Can good. See? Okay. Close or no? Open? Close. Uh, in Inkis? No Inkis. No Inkis. Ah. The cheese. Hi. Oh. I think the cheese means open. Ah. But also, the cheese. Nice. This is a cheese, local cheese shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why you always wander in the village. Oh, five hundred euros. Oh, nice. Wow. Check it out, Maybe buy a couple. Maybe buy some cheese. Yeah. Please, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, this is the local cheese shop. Local cheese shop. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Ah. Salut. Salut. Okay. Not to buy cheese. Buy? I think so. We just met your friend. Your father no, is my boss. Your boss. Oh, your boss. My my Hi. boss father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss father. Yeah. <laughs> boss father. Okay. What can you recommend? Well, a, a simple one with the uh, berlauch. This is mostly sheep cheese or no, just cow cheese. Cow. Cow cheese. Okay. 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 Very nice. A Provence. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your favorite? favorite? My favorite is this one. It's simple. Okay. Okay. Sold. How much do you want, Ivana? Uh, uh, a little bit. <laughs> what's a little bit? 250 grams. I don't know. Look at, look at this. Shaving. Oh, oh very nice. It's like good. a potato peeler. Yeah. Good? Good cheese. Mmm. It's a trap. It's good. Look at this. Okay. Uh, how much do we want? Oh, look at the knife. They have a yeah. It's a like lumberjack tool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Sold. Sure. For my Canada. 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 Okay. Yeah, can I? Nice. Ontario. Mm. Very nice. Ontario. Okay. Toronto. Ontario is English or French? English. 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 Mon français un peu. Speak French? Parlez. A little bit. Same like me. Same like me. Deutsch. Deutsch. Dimanche de mon maman. Dimanche? 
Sunday. Well, maybe your French is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said Sunday. Just these. That's it for us. Yeah, perfect. Oh, vacuum pack. Very nice. It's good for the car. Yes. You have no smell. Because we have no Because we have no Au revoir. Bye bye. Bye bye. What's here, you think? Oh, I don't know. You know, maybe, maybe water. At Valley oh, Verde, they told us a lot of the houses here still don't have running water. Right, right. Like right. true farms. They have So I might be going to fill up clean water. Yeah, I said every house has Wi Fi and not every house is running water. <laughs> yeah. Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> but we got our cheese and the guy was super nice because this morning I realized our rental car is losing air in the back left. So I said, where can I go around here to pump it up? He goes, oh, I'll bring it here. I got a pump. I'll, I'll get my pump. I can do it for All you. Right. So it's like a friendly uh, filling up my tire with air. Awesome. What could be better than that? Oh, check this out, guys. So this is actually written in German. Ooh. Right above the door here. I can't tell you what it says, but it's certainly written in German. Okay. Uh, the idea is this tiny little village, like 700 years ago, 750 years ago was actually a German village. Hmm. Now, to be clear, I don't think there's any German people living here anymore, except for maybe one, which is the owner of Valle Verde. <laughs> and he really is an amazing guy. He's a humanitarian. Right. So in the early 90s, uh, all the way up to like 2005 or so, like 15 years, he was coming from Germany to Sigishwara, Romania, mm -hmm. doing like humanitarian work, volunteering at children's hospitals. Really incredible man. Right. And he ended up discovering this former German village, fell in love with it, and opened his business. Right. Which is kind of an amazing story. Yes. He's a humanitarian. It's sort of amazing to talk to him because he really has a passion for like humanitarian yes. work and like helping people who are suffering. It's really, really amazing guy. And also some of his villa, villas are actually, the locals own it. Right. Right. So a bunch of locals saw that he was building this accommodation and they said, hey man, my grandmother has a house in town. It's got no running water. It's kind of, yeah. you know, needs to be renovated. Can you help me? He said, okay, absolutely. A lot of businessmen would say, no, I'm not going to help you. That's like making competition. Yeah. It's like, I'm not going to, sorry, I'm too busy, you know? Yeah. But he's like humanitarian first, businessman second. Yeah. So we said, I'll certainly help you. And he helped them renovate it and get running water and, and make a nice Airbnb. And, and, and now, it up online which and is probably why the village yeah. is so beautiful in part. It's like this yeah. one German humanitarian kind of brought up this tiny tiny village of like literally a hundred houses or a hundred buildings tiny village and it's doing well yeah. there you have it guys what a day and we got a block of cheese baby <laughs> come on what could be better than that so thanks for watching big shout out to valle verde uh absolutely recommend yes we love absolutely it. recommend love 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 it come for the food stay for the village there you have it guys all right see you tomorrow see you. Let's see. Fantastic. Right. This car from Russia. <laughs> no, not from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, multi mask. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye bye. It's good. Cheese and cake shop. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Just like that. I said multi mask. He said drum boon. <laughs> nice right. guy. Let's go. Let's go.